I grew up with certain people. You know what? I grew up with white people, and a lot of white people when I was a kid would say, I'm not racist because my friend is black. But here I am, multicultural. They knew I was multicultural, and they would sit right by me, and they would say racist inward jokes all the time. And I grew up with these people, and I still see these people to this day who say, I'm not racist because my friend is black, but I don't believe in race mixing, and I don't believe in um, black people being married to white people and white people being married to black people after they saw my mom and my dad. You might see this as a complaint, but this is a worldwide issue. And until we get over the fact that, um, like, I keep hearing these people say, uh, what's, it's, it's just frustrating. Because I'll hear people sit there and say, um, I don't see color. But you do see color. And I know you see color. There's too many Bible verses to cover this. Shannon, my wife, she told me about um, her friend saying that she put a post up there, a written post, saying that she didn't like people saying racist things and saying snarky jokes and racist jokes and all of that. Um, so I kind of come through the, uh, the uh, mulatto, as a lot of old people have called me that side, the uh, I am mixed race or multicultural. My mom is native and white. My dad is uh, black and native and so multicultural. I'm not mixed race. I'm not um, any of that crap that a racist man came up with or a prejudiced bigoted man came up with to separate everyone else so that he could rape the black women in the background and keep on doing all the evil stuff that he was doing, pretty much being Satan on this earth and then pretending like nothing was wrong. And still pretending like nothing was wrong. And we still have gotten an apology. And the biggest issue isn't even the apology, it's the change of attitude. Here it is, 2018 and no one has changed yet. And when we speak up against it, you say it's not biblical. Not biblical how? What do you mean? What is your insinuation? I know what your insinuation is, but what needs to happen is people need to change. People need to change how they talk to people, how they walk, and so on and so forth. Don't sit there and say you're one thing and be another thing. You cannot be a hypocrite and get into heaven. You can't get into heaven by my coattails. You can't get into heaven by anyone else's coattails. You need to change your attitude because God Almighty, he looks at you. He sees you. He watches everything you do. And when you get to heaven to that judgment where I have been, I have been there. I have seen this judgment that God speaks of. And you may call me a liar. Whatever. The truth is the truth. And when you get to this judgment, you're going to find out that your attitude and the way you talk to people and the way you've treated people your whole life doesn't fly with God the Creator. Because you weren't like this when you were a child and suddenly you have changed. What you were taught can be untaught, and this hate that you speak is evil, and not of God. You need to get rid of it. You need to change it, because God Almighty is getting tired of it. And many of these people in America, they're getting tired of it too. And everyone all over the world, they're getting tired of also. And you may think acting like a troll is okay, but it's not. Please stop.